Hello, hello everybody, it's the Eric Freeze, and today I'll be showing you this vintage Windmere model NR12 oscillating fan. This is my favorite fan in my collection, it's in really good condition, and let's get in with the demonstration. So this fan was made roughly in the early 90s. Um, it was made by a Taiwanese company called Kuo Horn. Um, this is my second Kuo Horn, well actually I'm not even sure. I've had several cool horns. I've, I've, I've had a cool hushing, but I whatever. But this one here is a 12 inch model. Uh, this has the rounded curved blades. I know that there's earlier models uh, from the 80s that had more pointed blades that are reminiscent of the galaxies, but I prefer these a bit more for childhood reasons. Um, this one, it would have originally had a a uh, gray blade cap, but I put a white blade cap on it, um, which I think looks really nice. Um, the butt it has multicolored buttons. The text on the base says Windmere 12 inch oscillating fan. It's the cursive font Windmere logo, which I prefer. It also has the original seal over the control sticker. Um, this is you can tell this is a later cool horn because it's motor housing. Is nice and short. The older ones, their motor housing sticks out probably about an extra inch compared to this one. Grills are kind of rounded. It's more of a thinner type grill, but I'm just saying that because I'm used to a lot of the galaxies and stuff with the more thicker grill on them. Um, it has a carrying handle, which I can actually pick up the fan by. Uh, the other side, same back, has that typical like I have to say flower. Kind of reminds me of a flower type rounded vent pattern and it's an odd shape kind of like an o ovular I think that's a word let's try this here in a grill I'll have to clean that I never noticed that before um oh yeah neck adjustment it has a knob here just loosen it lower it raise it I like to keep mine raised all the way up and Oscillator is off. Uh, let's do low speed. This is probably my favorite fan in my collection. I really enjoy how this one sounds. So here's the low speed. This one sounds almost exactly like the Cool Breeze my grandmother had that I grew up with, which is probably my favorite thing about it. Here's medium. I've also always had a soft spot for any of these Taiwanese import fans. Um, one difference between this and the Cool Breeze is, the, is, well, I think the Grill Medallion was the same, but that one, it was so beat up, it, um, all of this, like, chrome finishing that was on it was completely gone, and it was, like, this horrible, like, yellowed, white plastic color, and, um, it had the Cool Breeze logo here. It also did not have the piano key buttons. And I believe it had the longer motor housing, because that fan was from the 80s. This one, the being from the 90s, it has a shorter motor housing cover. But I remember my grandmother's Collins Cool Breeze, it had the same motor housing cover, but hers had the wavy Cool Breeze badge on the front of it. Here's high speed. I do really like the piano key buttons. That's something that you see on a lot of tap tongue fans. Um, and a, a lot of the, uh, there's about half, cool, most of the cool horn fans like this, they had the piano key buttons. There was a few of the squared buttons that were reminiscent of the galaxies. Um, I prefer the square buttons, but I also really like the piano key buttons. I'm pretty sure if I would have not um, seen a cool breeze when I was younger with square buttons, I would have probably liked these more. They're really nice to push. Um, let's engage the oscillator. This one has a really wide oscillation on it. It's it's a really wide oscillation compared to some of my other fans, and I'll let you just look at that. I really like how this one oscillates too. And I like how when it oscillates, you can see like the shine on the on the grill from the various lights. Something that the Cool Breeze had, as well as a Windmere DF7 I used to have, which I was my first vintage fan. That one suffered a tragic death and actually died here in this room. Uh, we do medium speed. I think this may be a bit of a longer video. 
here's the low speed. I mean the medium speed. It's a really good fan. It's really strong. I've been meaning to do a comparison against this in the Galaxy. I'll probably do a comparison against this in the Galaxy probably later on. But it's it's a really substantial heavy fan. It's really well built too. Go back up to high, center is oscillator. Just your typical click and place oscillator, nothing special. And then here's the oft. Bearings on this one are are pretty good. It usually has a longer spin down, but it's not ran in who knows how long. So that's probably all I really gotta say. Um, plug on it's normal. It I think it's polarized. It's non-polarized, so it's a non-polarized plug, so it can be plugged any way, shape, or form, and we'll actually test that. So get this Christmas light thing here, because I happen to have a Christmas tree. So if they can plug in here, that means it's non-polarized. Yeah, it's non-polarized. It looks like a fairly modern plug, though. I think I already showed it to you. Um, let me go show you a bit more of the fan. Here's a better look at the badge. There's a bit of a crack here, sadly, but this fan, which is, that's probably the only thing. There's some tarnish here, and here's that control panel. It still has the sticker on it. The one, I'm pretty sure it wants me to remove it, but I, I, I won't because I'm pretty sure that's really rare. But if I have to, let me know in the comment section. This thing is mint. The, um, it's These typically get really badly yellowed. This oscillator knob is starting to yellow, and this control plate is starting to yellow. These usually get really badly yellowed. I've seen several of these wind mirrors where that's like horribly yellowed. And this also gets yellow and the neck. Neck on here is almost perfect. Get you back look at it. It is a model NR12. And of course it's upside down. I'll just flip the camera. So it's a wind mirror. It's an electric fan. It is a 12 inch, made in Taiwan. And all your information should be there. I don't know what, how many watts it is. I can't see. 50 watts. So it's a 50 watt fan. Kind of efficient, I guess. Cord comes out for the center. It has all four of its feet. Base of this looks like any other Taiwanese fan from the 90s. The handle, you can fit your whole hand around it. That's a good design there. It's one of my favorite fans in my collection, and it's a really good fan to sleep to. Focus camera. And thank you very much for watching, and keep the breeze.